So part of the issue with jumping into AI as a solution without governance or roadmap, it's difficult in terms of uh, bringing you know, the C-level, C-suite for folks together, the, 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 uh, the talent you know, on board. Matthew, I would be interested in hearing your thoughts as to how we get this all done in a way where it's uh, safe and secure and it's uh, ethical. Sure. Well, I mean, you, on your point, uh, you mentioned jumping in without a roadmap. I'd say don't do that. <laughs> that would be the first thing. <laughs> but in terms of you know, clients that come to us who are starting this journey or sort of midway through uh, AI deployment, I'd say that the first thing that that they're facing is is questions about compliance. And you know, love it or hate it, it's it's there for you know, protecting certain stakeholders from from risks. It, it already has guardrails built in. Um, so I think already compliance should be part of it. Because the regulatory frameworks are shifting so frequently, you really have to have um, someone on staff, whether that's like a whole team or just at least one person who keeps an eye on these things. Because just day to day, you know, if maybe Massachusetts passes a new law on uh, regulating your type of model, or if you're a multinational company, there's a lot of different sort of balls in the air with respect to regulatory frameworks. So that's so compliance is the first thing. You're, you're not going to fix it in one go. It really has to be an ongoing process. Um, the good news is, I think, um, that actually, if you shift gears a little bit and think beyond compliance, so not just following existing rules, but think about good tech, as in tech that makes a positive impact, you can actually be ahead of the regulations in some sense. So if you care a lot about Let's think hard about where we get our data, how to make sure that it's collected carefully, you know, thoughtfully, legally. Let's think a lot about what experiences do we want to make possible with the technology? Um, who will it benefit? You know, at what price? In what context? Those are like fundamental questions of good technology. If you really do those things well, a lot of the compliance things will follow. I mean, it won't do the paperwork for you, unfortunately, but um, if you actually start the foundation with let's do AI in a very thoughtful way, let's, let's collect the data in a really thoughtful way. When it comes time to you know, check back in with the EU AI Act or whatever your state's local legislation is, you already have like, something to start with. Um, that's especially important because many of the guidelines haven't been standardized yet. So corporations or, or even small organizations um, can show their work. They can actually prevent compliance problems by starting with good tech. Uh, so I would say really both tracks are important.